What's going on, Hapak High School community? It is October 23rd. We have a lot of stuff done. It's been good. We've been doing a lot of good work. Uh, we are week eight in the books right now, which is totally nuts. Um, I got a, I got a, we got a partial representation of the crew here today. This is Tag there. You want to come say hello? Hi, Hapak High School. Happy Friday. Mrs. Ferrara. It's Friday. Happy Hop Hog. Happy Hop Hog. <laughs> nice. Uh, Mike Horse is signing in from home. There he is. Indy, what's going? Um, we are day 35, everybody. Day 35 in the books, week eight in the books. Uh, totally crazy. We're into almost November. It's like a space-time continuum that's really confusing. Sometimes it feels like it's going very slow. Sometimes it feels like it's flying. Bottom line is it's going to be November and a week. Halloween's coming up uh, and the end of the quarter as well. So before we jump into the correspondencies, I'm going to just jump into a few announcements, and then we'll do the correspondencies. We'll end with some shout-outs, and then we'll move forward for the day. So, um, so a couple things. Parent Square is becoming a really important way for us to communicate if if you are watching this video, once I've sent it out, then you know what's up with Parent Square. That's great. Student Square also, we're using it increasingly. We're using it to have students get passes from guidance to go down to guidance. We're using it to kind of communicate in all sorts of ways to students, which has been really helpful for us. Um, we are also um, trying to do this kind of weekly communication via Parent Square from our team. So you get this the video and then also our other communications during that time. So what's coming up in the, in the next little bit? Masks are really important. They remain really important. We're doing really well here to maintain being open. I, I credit our students largely and our, our staff largely because of the way that we're approaching our mask wearing. Uh, on top of that, it's becoming important that students wear hoodies. We had a very warm week this week. Next week looks like it's going to be a little cooler, potentially, but I'll let our weather correspondent go into that. Um, but it's important that we develop a strong hoodie culture. Uh, then we have intramurals and co-curriculars beginning. So intramurals began some in this week, so a lot of good numbers out there, kids working out uh, with their teams. Awesome to see. And our co-curricular work, our clubs, uh, have, have begun also over the last little bit of time. NHS applications are coming up, um, and we will be communicating with students who are eligible for NHS in the next little bit to fill out applications. Driver's Ed will have some updates shared out by Mr. Whitehorst uh, in the next couple days, if not um, today. And then we have Senior Week coming up also um, in the next little bit. Mrs. Farrar will talk about that shortly. Finally, uh, it's important to know that we're going to be shifting lunch rosters around just a little bit. Uh, for the beginning of the second quarter, which is November 9th. So over the next couple of weeks, we'll be fine-tuning that, communicating out where students should be eating for the second quarter. There won't be a ton of changes to that. There will be a few, uh, and we'll communicate about those. And guess what? You can pretty much stay up to speed on all of this by watching Eagle Watch. Um, so well, Eagle Watch is morning meeting, uh, morning announcements portion, and I'm sure that Eagle Watch is going to produce some new Eagle Watch soon, uh, which so you can stay up to speed there and I would really push people to kind of make it a regular part of their weekly routine to check in and see the announcements and the good work that our team is doing there. Um, Jeffrey Kramer is becoming like, uh, you know, a new 60 Minutes correspondent. He's, he's doing a really nice job. So uh, kudos to everybody involved in that. Uh, and I think that's it. Let's jump into the correspondences. So Christy Pagliari, what's up with weather? How long do you think we can wait before she realizes she's not mute? She's muted. That I have to say, you muted me, so I didn't mute. <laughs> me, so I didn't realize I was muted, but I yeah, still I did, 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 did longer than it should have. Um, yeah, it's it's 66 degrees outside, a little wet and cold. Uh, I think most of the rain has passed, but it looks like it's going to be pretty much cloudy for the rest of the day. 68 tomorrow, partly cloudy, no rain, and then Sunday is going to drop down to 55. So starting next week, it's going to be pretty cold and rainy. So definitely, like Mr. Cook said, get your jacket so we can go out to lunch. Nice. All right. Looking forward to those nice hoodies next week. Uh, in sports, you want to show a new picture of Indy there? Just talk for a second so we can see him. Oh, we sure. did. So sports is a little outside of my realm, but the Giants did vomit last night, and the boys are pretty upset. Um, 
and the pandemic brought the World Series lowest crowd in over a hundred years. That's the extent of my sport. Wow. wow, you really nailed it. The Giants did stink. Indy, you look great. Uh, the Giants did stink last night. I actually went to bed with six minutes left in the game, and they were up, I think, like 10 points, and uh, somehow they lost. Um, that that might the particulars of that might be a little off, but blown away. Um, the, yeah, they're they're they struggle, they struggle. Uh, but guess what? I know this is everybody's favorite. The NBA free free agents period is starting soon. The draft. So if you are really into sports, those are the two. That's the most exciting set of news. That's uh, exciting. It is my it is my favorite time of the year too. Uh, NBA free agency. And, but that's it. All right, Joy, take it away. This day in history, what do we got? Okay. Uh, well, we have a lot today. So today is National iPod Day. Hmm. Um, and I went through my desk drawer, and guess what I found? An iPod. Uh, the iPod Nano Ooh. sitting in my desk drawer from uh, several years ago. But the iPod was first out um, October 23rd in 2001. The original iPod sold for $400. Now you can uh, pick up the original iPod on Amazon for about 100 uh, But the thing about the iPod was that it actually changed the way people were able to record music um, and podcasts and listeners uh, could actually download onto their iPod. Um, I remember uh, when Steven Jr. was little, uh, his first iPod, he would record me when I wasn't looking, any chance he could get, and then play it back when I least expected it. And that was always fun. Um, <laughs> uh, today is National Boston Cream Pie Day. For those of you that are familiar with that delicious sponge cake, vanilla custard, and chocolate concoction, um, it was actually developed in 1856 at Boston Parker's Hotel uh, by a French chef whose name I can't pronounce. And, uh, you know, if you're not a baker, you certainly could go to any local bakery, ask for a Boston cream pie, or stop by your local Dunkin' Donuts and get it in a donut uh fashion instead and remember eating boston cream pie standing up what it, it doesn't, doesn't count. count phenomenal okay miss pagliari this Hold on, i want to chime in for a second so the Omni oh. parker house is like a very famous hotel in boston and i just googled what the rate is there you can stay downtown boston for a hundred dollars a night right now it's crazy That's fantastic and did you know that you get a free slice of boston cream pie when you stay there I didn't know that. No. Wow. All right. You, so you can even stay, up right now. You can even stay in cheaper hotels than that in Boston. And Mr. Cook, having his Boston experience, should have guided us a little bit better accordingly to that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting story. You, you should have listened, I guess, or asked more specifically, or asked me, "Hey, what about this one?" That would have been a more helpful way to handle that. Anyway. Yeah. So, well, uh, uh, Miss Pagliari, uh, today is uh, National Mole Day. It's not that cute, cuddly little furry animal that burrows holes in your uh, front yard, but it recognizes a special number in chemistry. Um, I understand that a mole is a unit of measure, and uh, that's about as best as uh, I can remember. Something to do with Avogadro's number. Is that right, Christy? Uh, yeah, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. There you go. Okay. I'm glad I got that right. I did teach chemistry for 14 years. So that I remember. Would, that would have had to been edited out, Chris. I remember. I'm not so. editing anymore. This happens, happens. Awesome. And last but not least, this applies to all of us here. Today is National TV Talk uh, Show Host Day. So, of course, we are your host for the Hop Hog Morning Show, but it is also um, celebrating all your favorite TV talk show hosts. Um, this, this day actually originates back to, um, you know, when TV first, uh, was out in the 1940s, late 1940s and 50s, and it celebrates every daytime or evening talk show host. So, uh, that wraps up our national day, um, but I will tell you, uh, parents and Hop Hog seniors, 
So uh, senior week is coming up the week of November 2nd. And we're really excited because this is the very first event that we've ever run at Hop Hog High School that only spotlights our seniors. So each and every day will be a special theme day uh, that our senior class chose. Um, we will be celebrating our senior superlatives at our own Hop Hog High School Academy Awards Night on uh, Monday, November 2nd. And we have some really special treats, uh, seniors. So hopefully you uh, picked up a ticket from either Mrs. Richard or Mr. Shahigan, uh, because you can't get in without a ticket. If you're not sure um, about attending, but would like more information, check out Class of 2021 Google Classroom. Uh, or um, you can always email uh, Mr. Shahigan, Ms. Richards, or myself, and we'll help you out with that. And winding up that week, uh, we're also doing something special that we've never done at Hop Hawk High School. And we have a senior night at the movies, which will be um, outdoors on our football field, uh, complete with um, some special hot treats as uh, seniors come into the football stadium. Uh, make sure you dress warm in layers. Um, guys and gals, you'll be sitting on chairs on the football field. Uh, you're welcome to... Uh, you know, bring a fuzzy blanket to keep you warm. And we're looking forward, that's gonna be a lot of fun also. But remember, you can't get in unless you have a ticket ahead of time. So again, check out Class of 2021 and uh, have a great day, everybody. Cool. All right, we're gonna jump into a quick round of shout outs um, and, and then kind of wrap it up. So I, I would like to just give a shout out to our, um, our Everybody on our team that is really leaning into supporting students socially and emotionally, which is everybody, but in particular, uh, for particular reasons, the our guidance counselors, um, you know, our whole mental health team, so our, our social workers and our, our school psychologists certainly uh, do an extraordinary job. But this time of the year, where it's where we're managing stress and we're helping seniors navigate the stresses of being a senior, celebrate them via senior week, and complete a ton of applications for college um, and or thinking about what they're doing next uh, after their finish year in June, um, the level of kind of work and, and uh, amount of logistical work plus leadership work plus just making sure people don't crumble work, it's just a lot. And uh, our, our guidance counselors are really doing a wonderful job um, with that, so just a shout out to the five of them, uh, Mr. Foster, Mrs. Bartlett, Mrs. Winnetic, uh, Mrs. Hyotis, and Mrs. Montara. Beautiful work, all right? And we'll see you on Wednesday at Health and Counseling Meeting. Christy. So I'm gonna step back for one second and just because I wanna throw in two more announcements. On Thursday, as a reminder, our 10th and 11th graders will be coming into school um, regardless of whether they're distance learners or not, they're going to come into school on site and take the PSATs. Um, your rooms will be posted and available for you to see ahead of time. Our ninth and 12th graders that day will be distance learning from home. Um, so they should log on from home and not come to school that day. Um, on the same day, when you're done uh, with your classes, we ask you to go over to Moe's and support our fundraiser to raise money for care and share for the holiday season. So that was that. Um, but then Mr. Cook really, he really took um, my answer for shout outs and I have it written here, so I didn't, I'm not copying. Um, the, the, when you pass the kid in the hole, it's really easy to say, hey, how are you? But between our counselors and our social workers, I've really seen the last few weeks them go so far above and beyond to touch um, to touch base with some of the kids that we feel are having difficulty um, and, and to try to touch base with every single person at home. I feel like we've had more distance learning meetings this week than, than ever before. And the fact that they're able to sustain that is really, you know, it's really great. Um, and I know that we're trying to really well support our students learning from home. And again, as Mr. Cook said to our seniors, who are busy asking questions and advice. We had some people ask Mr. Cook a question today um, about you know, what their college essay should look like. And with that application deadline coming up for some of our schools of November 1st, next Saturday, um, we know that the stress is real. 
and the guidance counselors are working frantically to make sure everything uh, is in and on time and the best representation of the students that uh, survived the junior, end of junior, beginning of senior uh, pandemic college application process. So we're super proud of everyone. Nice, good stuff. And Joy Farrar with the shout out. Yeah, so um, I, I want to kind of piggyback off uh, Christy's shout out to our seniors. Um, I think you guys are really nailing it. Um, those of you that are either on distance learning or here in the building, you know, we absolutely know and understand the level of stress that you are feeling right now. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago that um, I was going through something similar with my son as he was preparing uh, for his whole application process and, and um, you know, it's, uh, it's about managing your time and we are here 100% to support you. Uh, we're happy to uh, have you come in if you have a late start and help you out with whatever you need. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I want to give a big shout out to our social workers, uh, Mrs. Griffin and Mrs. Ruffini, um, and also our, our school psychologists um, who have have been going beyond and above each and every day to, to make special connections with our students. So thank you, everybody, and have a great weekend. All right, Hot Pog, that's, that's a wrap for this meeting. Thank you, everybody. Peace out. Bye.